Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today it's a simple subject. Uh, you know, when we're trying to uh, you know, go fishing, come back from fishing, dealing with our wet waders, our wet jackets, our wet boots, our rods, uh, what are some simple ways to deal with that? Well, I've got two racks built, I stuck in the garage, come off from fishing, everything gets dumped into the garage, and then, I'm, you know, I'm done. So I thought, you know what? I'll just do a short video and show you what these racks look like. You might want to build a couple of them yourself. So let's go have a look. Okay, here's my wader rack. And you can see I've just made it out of ABS uh, tubing for uh, plumbing tubing. And uh, I've got uh, boot dryers on either end. It just hangs things up and keeps things open so everything gets to dry out properly. And we don't have uh, moisture collecting in spots and then turn to mold and other ugly stuff. It makes things pretty simple. And off to the left, this was a little project. To be able to have garage rods, uh, I mean, you can see these uh, uh, spinning rods and fly rods sitting in this rack. And I've got them angled up so the tips of the rods go up to the ceiling and they're not going to get hit on anything. So they're out of the way, they're in no danger. And you know, I've got uh, these, uh, these are actually uh, ladder racks that I'm using, and I can hang uh, basically anything I want off of them. Again, it lets, uh, you know, things like these bags dry out properly if they got wet. And I can put both spinning rods and fly rods on this rack. It, uh, you know, allows me to have a few rods in the garage and just be able to sling them in the back of the SUV and go fishing without any complication. Uh, it just makes life simple. And I got, you know, that used to be my float tube rack up there, and I now use it for other things. But, you know, it just makes life simple to have things racked up in the garage where everything's got to get a chance to dry and, uh, you know, and not get damaged because it's all out of the way. Okay, you can see what those racks look like. Pretty simple. I mean, uh, that uh, black piping you just get from a hardware store, you get the right glue for it, and just cut it up and assemble it. And the other one was just a few boards and some tubing. The tubing I used on that one came from um, the tubing that's used for central vacuum cleaners. It's very, very light tubing, very easy to cut uh, and very easy to use. So that's all I've done with that and some couple of hooks for uh, rods that won't fit in the tubes. But other than that, you know, you, you can build a couple of racks and keep all your stuff out of the way, and yet give it a chance to dry, which is what's important. So there you go. That's how I rack my stuff. Cheers.